There are seven steps to making a direwolf. The first step is to find actual direwolf fossils. Second, we have to generate this genome sequence from a direwolf. So we use the tools of ancient DNA. We take the fossils that we found, we grind them up, and we extract preserved DNA. We then have to line those up and assemble them into the whole direwolf genome sequence. The third step, then, is to identify what it is that made a direwolf like a direwolf and not like a gray wolf. To do this, we line the direwolf genome up against the gray wolf genome on a computer, and we scan them, looking for where they're different from each other. This is how we identify the core genes that makes a direwolf a direwolf. After we've identified which of the genes we want to change, it's time to design the tools that we're going to use to actually make those edits in living cells. This is part of the genome engineering process. Step five, which is actually using those tools to make the edits. This is where we're working with cells in a dish in a lab, and we are actually going into the genomes of those cells and cutting out the gray wolf versions of the genes and pasting in their place the dire wolf versions of those genes. After we have those edited cells, it's time to turn that into a living animal. So step six, embryo transfer. This is where we take these cells and we take another cell that has had its nucleus removed, so it doesn't have any of its own DNA, and we inject in its place our edited genome sequence. And then we're on to the final step. Transfer those edited embryos into a surrogate maternal host who's going to give birth to our direwolf.